It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Atlanta Falcons. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. First open in 2017. Here's a look inside the one-of-a-kind setting for football. That is Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, the home of the Falcons. Good to be with you. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we've been around for a minute, as the kids like to say. I called your games. There are guys who you played with back in your day who are now the veteran players in the league. And we got a couple of veterans here at quarterback. What a difference it makes for a team when they come in with a guy who knows what he's doing back at quarterback. Oh, and it really does. And remember, Mike, the only way to gain experience is to gain experience. There's no magic formula. you got to be in the fire, make mistakes, make great plays, learning lessons. The more you see, the better you get. And no position is that more magnified than in the NFL at the quarterback position. So the fact that these guys have played so many games, so many seasons, they've seen so much, that's a huge advantage for each of these teams. Now the question is, in today's matchup, who comes out on top? Cowboys coming out. As usual, it's Dak Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago. Already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There aren't many quarterbacks in this league who come under the microscope as often as this guy does. I mean, he isn't perfect by any means, but you can certainly do a lot worse than having him lined up as your guy leading your offense. He has the athleticism to bail himself out of bad situations but also the arm talent to make every throw on the field. So as long as he protects the ball, that's been the biggest thing in his career. If he can do that, man, he's as good as they come in this league. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. They face second down and seven. Throwing is Prescott. No chance at all. He'll go down. Well, here early on, if this pass rush continues to get home at this rate, this is going to be a long day for this offense. They're going to have to put some extra guys in there, mix in some play action, keep this pass rush off balance. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Dak to throw. Here's a screen coming for Dowdle. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. Fair catch made here, and the drive will start at the 23-yard line. The Falcons led out by their quarterback, Kirk Cousins. One of the big moves in the offseason, Atlanta acquiring Cousins in free agency. He had six years in Washington, the last six in Minnesota, and now he begins his run this season with the Falcons. Ever since he was drafted in the fourth round, all this guy has done is continue to surpass all expectations. And Mike, this isn't some physical specimen like we see throughout the league who has all these unique physical attributes, but he is about as consistent and even keel as the quarterback position gets. And it doesn't hurt that he is a beloved figure in every locker room he finds himself. And they know with this guy behind center, they have a shot to win every single game he plays. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. And he'll get the first down there, a pickup of about five yards. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. Cousins now to throw on first down. 
and he's not going to be able to get away very good coverage on the perimeter it goes down as a loss of yards I think this play is a direct result of his film study he knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped and that play recognition man it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play they'll go again with Robinson well that helps it's going to be a much more manageable third down getting some good yardage on that second down play it's tough to completely celebrate Mike when you don't pick up the first down but that's a run you will take every single time I mean good yardage in a lot of situations it'll get you the first down just not here they'll throw here on third and short yardage trying to set up the screen but it is not there he just had to spike it it's incomplete and it'll bring up fourth down you can't fault the quarterback on this one Mike he really didn't even have much of an opportunity by the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield the defense was all over him and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap just what the punters hoping to do fair catch taken right at the 10 yard line the Cowboys offense ready to possess the football for the second time they'll begin with first down from their own 11. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. The rush gets there. He goes down back inside the five-yard line. The offense's backs were already up against the wall, and after suffering that last sack, it's all but eliminated whatever breathing room they had left, and for the rest of this drive, they don't have much room for error at all. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Now, man, back for a second go around with the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll pick his way forward. A gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. Shotgun snap for Prescott. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Falcons' offense ready for their second possession. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. the shotgun it's Cousins that's caught Ray Ray McLeod and they'll move this ball way down into the red zone inside the 20 yard line if you want to score points at a high level in the NFL you have to generate explosive plays and after that big chunk pass play they find themselves now down there in the red zone and this is where you have to finish drives So, here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On the handoff, it's Robinson. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal coming up. He's out of bounds right around the five-yard line. That's a gain of 14 and a first down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, 
his offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. And you could tell pretty quickly, Mike, that once the quarterback started chopping his feet, that there was nowhere for him to go. Great job by the defense, not only reading quarterback run, but getting him down behind the line. So we've come to the end of a fairly evenly played opening quarter. Nothing, nothing is the score. Greg and I back in Atlanta after this. Try it again here from the seven yard line, second down and goal. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. That is caught, and he'll take it on in. Darnell Mooney, touchdown Falcons. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Young Way Koo now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Falcons will take a 7-0 lead. Once more as the kicks away. This will be returned from the six. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30 yard line. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7 0 our score as this drive begins with a first down. Now, Prescott. The open man is Tolbert. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. To throw is Prescott. Throwing right. It's taken in. A gain of 11 on that one. That's good for a Dallas first down. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback. Friendly to the ball. And really nice job picking up the first down. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. We've watched C.D. Lamb become undeniably one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike. I mean, just last season alone, led the league in receptions with 135, while totaling over 1,700 yards for the year. I mean, when the Cowboys need a big play, they're looking for number 88. They'll throw again. Dak. This pass right side caught by Lamb. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Second and seven. In motion, Lamb. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Up until that run, this first half, it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game. They'd love to see him get going. That last big pickup's going to go a long way. Here's first and ten. Up 
on the play fake. Dak. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Two yards from six points. It is first down and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Trying to fight his way into the end zone, but they will mark him short down at the one. The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. They'll go with him again. And this time he's in. Rico Dowdle. Touchdown Cowboys. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And, Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Cowboys will level things out at seven apiece. So back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff. Ray Ray McLeod on the return. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Falcons offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. He'll inch forward for maybe a yard. The veteran Eric Hendricks on the stop. Here's second and nine. Now Cousins. Complete former first round pick Drake London with the catch. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass because that quarterback he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time, and he's able to secure a really nice catch. So, first and 10 here now at the 38. To throw is Cousins. This one is complete along the sideline. A very nice job to fit that ball in. It'll be a modest game. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds. But instead, the quarterback is on time and accurate. And the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Cousins now on second down. 
Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. Good-looking screen play there, a gain of 11 and a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Second down, Cousins. They'll try to set up the screen here. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Throwing now, Cousins. He'll get that to Kadero Hodge. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Cousins. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. They'll try again here, second and ten. Cousins going to throw. He pulls it in around the five. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Now, Cousins. This one is hold in. Are the feet in bounds? Yes. Ray Ray McLeod. Touchdown Atlanta. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. On is Koo for the point after. The kick is good. And the Falcons will move out to a 14-7 lead.
They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. A safe kick taken at the 5. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Cowboys offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. He'll be stopped after a pickup of about three. Caden Ellis in on that stop. So we're at halftime here in Atlanta, and the Falcons are in the lead. As we'll get you down to Orlando now, that's with the coaches, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports halftime reports. It was a strong first half for the veteran quarterback, Kirk Cousins. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see who can come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Falcons offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Robinson. And they will finally run him down up near midfield. This is a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Another run here for Robinson. And this time they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big gain that carry. It's second down. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Lost one on the last play. So now it's second and 11. Cousins. He's going to take a shot here for Mooney. And that ball picked off. It's the ball hog. Trayvon digs again. And the Cowboys are going to have the ball at their own 18-yard line. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense. You're defending your own goal line. you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. The Cowboys offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Now Dowdle. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. Prescott now. Over the middle to his tight end, Ferguson. 
And they're going to move the ball all the way up to the 45-yard line. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Now whistles, play clock at zero, and that'll cost them five. From the shotgun, it's Dak. That's complete to Cavante Turpin. Here's second and six. On the ground, it's Dowdle. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six, and it sets up third down. They'll let the fullback try to push the pot. Using that big frame to try to get the yard, but I don't think he got it. Held up in the line of scrimmage. There's no gain. Now it's going to be fourth down. On for the field goal now. It's Brandon Aubrey. They'll spot this at their own 48, meaning this is a 62-yard attempt. This one off the upright. He had the distance, but it's no good. And they are not able to draw closer. You have to give him credit, Mike. I mean, that shows a lot of faith in your kicker because that is an ambitious effort from that distance. Here's Bijan Robinson and the Falcon offense set for their next drive. They'll have a short field looking to build on the lead. First and ten. They run over center with Robinson. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. That one is caught by Mooney. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Second down and three. It's a give up the middle to Robinson. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He's got his tight end. That's Pitts. And he's in. Kyle Pitts. Touchdown, Falcons. We're seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But if you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And... 
Great job there by the quarterback being accurate and great job by the receiver running after he makes the catch. Here's Coop for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Falcons will take a 21-7 lead. Kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here comes a return from the five. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. Set to go now on first and ten. Now Prescott. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. At this point in the game, Mike, we just haven't seen a lot of fire out of this offense. Here's another run, simple handoff, no game. Here's third and two. So, three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Now, a third and two. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. There's Kirk Cousins. He and the Falcons set for their next drive. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. They send him right out of the slot. On first down, it's Robinson. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's a second and nine. Off the play fake, here's Cousins. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four. 
and bring up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Here now, third and five. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. He's going to take a shot here for Mooney. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion. But can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air. And I would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. Now, a fair catch. He'll take it at about the 24-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Prescott. To the outside, looked in by Lamb. And he's going to be taken down at the 37. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. On second down, it's Dak. There's Ferguson, the tight end. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. This hasn't been his best game by any means, but what I really like, Mike, is regardless of the score, regardless of the time of the game, he is out there battling. He's doing everything in his power to chip away and see if he can get his team back in this game here in the fourth quarter. They've got to find a way to capitalize in this drive, continue to cut into that deficit. Every possession is critical. Take advantage when you have the ball. He's got that complete to Turpin. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Every team in the league practices these situations every single day. That's a critical third down, Mike. So now with this fresh set of downs, they got to just take a deep breath. Now you're really not so much playing against your opponent as much as you are playing against this clock. Whistles look like the right side. Got an early jump there. Let's check the flag on play action here's Dak catch is made that is Schoonmaker there's no more efficient play in the NFL Mike than the play action passing game and you can see here why you make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. He'll throw again, Dak. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. Trailing late, they've got to go here. It's fourth down. A shotgun snap for Prescott. That's taken in, 
And they're going to get the first down. They were forced to go for it, and it's going to work out for them. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. And he will score! Game on! C.D. Lamb! Touchdown, Dallas! Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? All right, so the Cowboys set to go for two. They'll run here. And he'll get into the end zone and get this one a couple of points closer. Pretty evident that they felt the weakness of this rush defense was on the perimeter. A simple toss play gets the back out there so fast. They secure the edge, and it just becomes a foot race, and he walks in for an easy two points. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Avery Williams on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. They'll come up here first and ten. Cousins now. He's got his man. It's Mooney. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conservative. Just hand off right, hand off left. And it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything. Because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run able to take him down for a loss. Now a second down throw for Cousins. Left side in the hands of London. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. 17 yards, the gain there. First down, Atlanta. On the give, it's Robinson. Whoa. And they'll take this down inside the 35. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, they'll use another timeout on this side of it at 155. First down, right back to Robinson. And now at 152, the defense will pull the plug there as they take a timeout.
Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second along. It's second down and 12. Slot man in motion right. They'll run with Robinson. And he will work his way down inside the 30. A pickup of six. They need to get this to the 23. Here's third down. They'll drop to throw. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. Well, when you call a screen play, of course, you're looking to catch the defense off guard and pick up a chunk play. You're not thinking you're actually going to find yourself going backwards, but that's exactly the case here, and really nice job by the defense sniffing that one out. So here comes young Wei Koo in a pressure spot. This to make it a two-possession lead. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And that could be big. They now take a two-score advantage. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Now return, coming from the seven. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They trail here by a couple of scores. The margin is nine, as this drive starts with first down. Back to throw is Prescott. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. That's a prototypical coverage sack. All 11 guys on the field doing their job. Starts with sound back-end coverage. Nowhere to go quick with the ball. The quarterback has no chance but to extend the play. Look for something late developing downfield. That was all the time this front needed to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. And he kept that play a lot as long as he could. But the rush eventually gets to him and takes him down. So after picking up some positive yardage on first down, they end up going backwards on second. That sack now brings up third and long. and But most of the time is a very pass-happy situation. Makes them very one-dimensional. Here we go. One final play. And he's going to go out of bounds with no time remaining on the clock. This game is over. So it's a win here for the Falcons. They were the aggressors from the start, able to dictate the pace of play. And in the end, they come away with the victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Falcons are winners as we say so long from Atlanta.